It's not your imagination No, you're not black American You wonder why they call you Jamaican When you're above all the other nations It's not your imagination About to turn the world upside down. We about to turn the world upside down. We about to turn the world upside down. Welcome back to Four Quarters News. That's right, I'm Captain Zakar to my left. Captain Severus. And to his left. And to my right, Officer Daniel. And to his right, Officer Lyle. And we make up four, four corners. corners. No place I'd rather be, y'all. That's here right. we go. That's hey, right. One more time, we give a shout out to the brother ain't here in body, but he's here in, in spirit. spirit. Hey, can we show his uh, seat? Can we show him here? Yeah. There we go. One more time. There we, we go. We got you, Judah, man. One more again. again. One more Officer again. Officer Judah, can we yeah. see? There the we hell go. Is this? Officer it Judah. was good having you on the segment yeah. along with Officer Daniel. My yeah. brother's in the spirit. <laughs> you look color you purple for you. <laughs> 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 All right, hey, tonight for uh, time for tonight's main topic, man. We're gonna go into uh, Esau out here getting worried again, showing that the um, we in the last days, the Most High revealing prophecies hey. uh, to us to bring out here on the news for the people that are. Uh, you know, uh, searching for truth, right? Uh, maybe walking in darkness to let you know that uh, we in these last days, you better repent and come on into the fold of God. Bring so, it out! So Christ can get you that, uh, that VIP access ride mm. to the other side of the earth, because it ain't going to be no <laughs> other way there. Ain't going to be no play tickets no, for the wilderness. No. Woo. Ain't no uh, a Royal Caribbean cruise you None can book. For the, for the uh, wilderness, you can only go by a chariot. That's, That's right. That's pull right. up, pull right. up the article and show what Esau is talking about with the chariots. Now we've seen this before, where they talk about that the um, the fighter jets was seeing that um, uh, what they call UFO right. and how it was going against the wind that a thousand miles an hour and turning flips and stopping on the dime, which was impossible. Read what that says right there. Former CIA director says unexplained phenomenon might constitute a different form of life. A different Woo. form of life. Mm. Read the, the little words up underneath that. It's a bit presumptuous and arrogant. And prideful. Read on. For us to believe that there's no other form of life anywhere in the entire universe. Now, now he's, he's partly right because they are arrogant, but uh, th there is another form of life in the universe. It's not on other planets right. and far right. out galaxies and the damn Avengers and... Oh, what's you know, Thanos, Ray Ray Thanos, Thanos yeah. and e all of e that e stuff? Home. Ain't no ETs out there. Right. No, <laughs> that that the form this? of other life is those angels that you see floating That's right. around, right. showing themselves right. and then gone. I've been looking at uh, uh, scrolling through my Facebook, posting videos, um, and, and I've been seeing some people post videos here lately within IUIC. They've been seeing chariots, right. And I think it was so, was it you, Captain? Yeah, I saw Harris? one right in front of my um, door. Explain yeah. that to him, man. Yeah, I, I was uh, changing the locks on my door, and then I see my name. Because you know he live in the hood. Yeah. Go ahead. Hey. <laughs> 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 I see my name. I'm around Northern Kingdom. I hear, hey, me, how come bing, 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 bing. And I'm looking. I'm like, what's going on? He sounds just like Northern <laughs> Kingdom. Go ahead. <laughs> and I see it floating by <laughs> real slow, real slow. And and then other, uh, you hear the mothers, hey, get get inside, me, me, you know, get in, get inside. And I'm like, man, let me hurry up and get this right here. Hold yeah, on. They afraid, but we like, oh, that's, oh, a, hey, we that's our VIP ride right there. There, there. You go. Cap, there. there you go. Get Have Cap. you told them that you are the chair whisperer? Because <laughs> every time hey. I go to this uh, to Cap's house, it's either yeah, I see a chariot. Hey, it's hey, something. Hey, I, hey, man, maybe The last Cap, time I went to his house, maybe, oh, that's a chariot. He looked at me. He said, get maybe ready. Cap Severus, <laughs> maybe Cap Severus got a, uh, oh, he already man, got a seat, man. Hey, 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 what was that song that Erica Badu? Sucks. She said oh, she want a window uh, seat. A window, a window seat. 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 Captain Ferris yeah. might got a window Lord seat already. They waiting on you. Yeah. Lord's yeah, will, you be the man. first pick. Lord's will. Pick me All up, person. man. 
Tell him to pick me up. Lord, Don't forget about me, Lord. Hey, uh, go back to that. Let's read some of the article real quick. Read, read that. No one can say for certain what UFOs actually are. We mm. can. That's right. They are That's the right. angels. And here's the proof, man. Go to Ezekiel. Bring it out. We can say now. See, this is how you know Esau's understanding is is uh, what you would call that earth uh, base. Earth base. Mm. Mm. It is base is low. That's it. Earth when you be, when you get into this Bible, man, you got that heavenly understanding, that wisdom right. that only comes from God. And these dudes got PhDs and yeah. damn doctorates and right. twenty Carnal. years right. school. Carnal understanding, but when you get into right. the Bible, you could be a dude that work at damn Seven Eleven, right. but you know what them angels, yeah, you know what them yeah. that's right. the flashing lights are up there yeah. that disappear. Hey, Cap. So basically, so in order for us to come back. Uh, combat the 400 years that we was behind, all we just got to do is pick up the Bible. That's it. will be yeah. light, That's years. It. Light, years. Light, years. light years. Light years ahead. ahead. The, the Bible is the spell breaker. That's you know? right. Right. That's it. Hey, Amen. Read it in Ezekiel chapter 1, and I want to read verse 20 and 21. Ezekiel chapter 1 and verse 20. Bring it out. Whithersoever the spirit was to go, they went. Ooh. Thither was their spirit to go. And the wheels were lifted up over against them. Read on. For the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. When those went, these went. And when those stood, these stood. So they move it in unison is what it's saying. That's why a lot of times when you see uh, multiple chairs in the sky, they be moving in unison. Right. They move it real slow down like, hey, uh, I'm going to uh, uh, sucker you to sleep. And when that time come, I'll be right there in your face like before you can blink. Mm. You better half blink. They're going to be in your damn eye. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> that was like that time uh, that, that military guy gave that interview. And he said he was chasing a chariot. Yeah. And they was like yards away from the base. And then it turned around, he blinked, and then that thing was already at the base. It side. was yeah. already there. Then the scripture said that they, the, wherever they thought it, it that's where it moved. There. The same way you uh, move your arm. Yeah. If I want to move my arm left, right. that's how I move. If I want to move my arm right, that's how the chariots Boom. just move. But it's yeah. instant speed. Woo. So the chariots, they defy the laws of gravity. Right. Yeah. Like, like, right. like, you know how we got earthly bodies and it's confined they to were, laws no. like that, right. but nah. Negroes don't want to follow the laws. But nah. now, <laughs> they, they, their, right. bodies, <laughs> they, their bodies, they, it defines all of that. It transcends all of that. The law of gravity, the law they of... They are not physics. physics they are not Earth. limited. There you go. That's the word. They, they are not, not limited. limited in anything. Bring it out! That's why they could be... You could see it that uh, at plane. It was right beside him. He was right in front of him. And yeah. in a blink of an eye... It was. It took the the pilot fighter pilot at least 15, 20 minutes to get back to the base, and they phoned him like, "Oh, that thing that you were just describing, it just hovered over the base, yeah. right? In split seconds." Yeah. yeah. Cap, spiritual things aren't limited by earthly things. Ooh, Bring it out. man! You, you, hey, read verse twenty-one. That's cold <laughs> blood right there. Verse twenty-one, hey. right here. Boom! Drop a bomb on that one. Go ahead. <laughs> when those went, these went, and when those stood, these stood. And when those were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up over against them. For what reason? Read. For the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. The spirits are angels. Here's the proof. Here's the proof that that spirit was an angel. Go to Hebrews chapter 1. Here we go. Here's the proof that those spirits were angels. That's why, the, you know, they got all them damn degrees. You can keep them, white man. You can have it. <laughs> I'd rather have the spiritual education That's of right. God That's more right. than the spiritual, uh, more than the education of man. That's read right. That, read that in Hebrews 1 and 7 to show what those spirits are. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 7. Bring it out. And of the angels, he saith. The angels, read. Who maketh the, his angels spirits. He does what? Maketh his angels spirits. Those spirits, that, those spirits that are in those wheels that move at supersonic speed that defy gravity, that he don't know what the hell they are. They are angels. That's right. That's right. The, the angels are spirits that move. Right. Stood here, stood there, stood there, stop here, stop there, go here, go there. They Wherever are drivers. they think. Those are the drivers of the vehicle. There you That's go. Right. Yeah. Of that UFO he right. calls right there. Hold on, finish it out. Read, read the bottom part of that. 
and his ministers a flame of fire. Yeah, we gonna hey hey go 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 with your thought real quick, officer. Yeah, then we go back to this article. Because when you say spirits, people would just be like, "Oh, this is a ghost." Woo. You think of Casper? But right. they are black. We people. just told you what There's the spirits no were. Black Stop people. The angels are black. Black, black. Black and black. Hey, 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 Captain Joel says it on our hidden history with Deacon I thought. Black people. <laughs> 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 That's what the angels are. Black people. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> hey, go back to the article real quick. Go back to the article and uh, let's read that the second paragraph. Speaking on a podcast with American economist Tyler Cohen, John Brennan said that while he did not know what the phenomenon was exactly, it's a bit presumptuous and arrogant for us to believe that there's no other form of life anywhere in the entire mm. universe. Read on. I think some of the phenomena we're going to be seeing continues to be unexplained and might, in fact, be some type of phenomenon that is the result of something that we don't yet understand. You're damn right you don't understand it. Right. Because it's spiritual. You don't understand. You don't understand what them angels of God are going to do right. when Christ cracked mm. that sky. That's right. right. Hey, give me that in Revelation. Whew. Right. There you Let's go. Give, give me them. that in Revelation. Give them a little bit of understanding. A little bit of understanding. <laughs> and I think, you know, though, Revelation chapter 19. Here we go. I want to read verse 11 to show what is going to happen when those angels come. Read that. Revelation chapter 19 and verse 11. Bring it out. And I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he doth judge and make war. He judge and make war. When that sky cracked, when Christ come back, he coming back for war with all his homies. Bring it out. That's right. That's right. That's and right. they called angels. <laughs> That's, That's right. right. Hey, is that is that it or what I wanted that? Uh let's see. Uh yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it on that. And then go back to the article. Go back to the article. <laughs> God, I don't want to get too much, man. We got more to get to. Uh go back to the article. Uh read that again for us. That different form of life. Go ahead. Different form of life, Brennan said, according to a transcript of the podcast. Come on. Yeah, right there, right there. Nick Pope, a former employee and UFO investigator for Britain's Ministry of Defense, said Brennan's comments are intriguing, given his former position. When I first heard the interview, I thought he was going to play it safe, and his mention of weather phenomena reinforced that view, Pope told Fox News via email. But for him then to start speculating about something people might say constitutes a different form of life was extraordinary. Now, now, go back to the scripts. Because this is the different form of life. See, Christ going to crack the sky, and he's coming back with a different form of life, right? Jump down to verse 14. Verse 14. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white mm. horses, Read on. clothed in fine linen. White and clean. So those are so what's coming out of the heaven when Christ come back to make war? That unexplained life form that they talking about are the armies of heaven. Woo! That are Woo! Pre are preparing themselves for war. That's why you get visuals of them now. That's called strategic positioning. There you go. Hey, right. Cap, you go. Cap, it's the it's it's mainly like the common Caucasians that you know UFOs yeah, yeah. and all of that. But the hierarchies, Trump. And all of them, they, they, right. you know what? Let's create a space for us. Oh, oh, so oh, they oh, know, oh, oh, they oh. They know that the heavens, oh, the heavens is hiding armies. I'm glad you said that, man. They know that. Go to that next article. Go to the next article. You wonder why a space you know? force is coming in the why United States military? It's because they know that armies are coming back to fight them. Right. And go, go, go to the article. Pull it up. Now you see the word name guardian. Go scroll down. Let's read it. Let's scroll. Heritage, mission, culture. Oh gosh. Go scroll down. Scroll down. Come on. <laughs> scroll down. Scroll down. Here we go. Uh -oh. Here we go. Space Force. United States. United States Space Force. Let's go. Come mm. on, man. Give me the article, y'all. Come, come on. Come on. Come on. Come Whoa, on. that's little. Whoa. Oh, man. That's wow. very little. Man. Blow it up. Yeah, yeah. Blow that up. Blow it up some more. Blow it up some more for us. Okay. All right. Let's read that. So now we know. U.S. Space Force members will be called 
guardians. They called the guardians. What they guard in the go. earth from? Mm. From the armies of heaven. That's right. That's right. God, it's going to be over. Read on, read on in that. Read on in that. Going forward, U.S. Vice President Mike Pence said Friday, his announcement came during a first birthday celebration for the military branch. Look at the pride of Esau. <laughs> Look at the pride of Esau. Hey, man, go to Obadiah. Yeah. This is we have Celebrating got, their power. We have we got go. to reveal the man of sin Bring that the out. Bible right. speaks of. Yep. It says on his first birthday, he wanted to call his space force that he is creating to fight against Christ and the angels mm -hmm. of heaven, the guardians. Let's read that in uh, um, what I just called. Obadiah. Obadiah and get straight to the point. Verse 3. Four, Obadiah, wait. verse 3. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. The pride mm. of thine heart has yep. deceived the white man. Jump back up to verse 1 to show that is who the white man is called in the Bible. Verse 1. The vision of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom. That's what God called a white man in the Bible. Edom is full of pride. That's right. So they will announce the name the, of, the, of the branch of their army that's going to fight against God's army on their birthday. Bring it out. That's pride. They think they got a chance. For real. They out they damn mind. Hey. <laughs> Go back to it. Go back to it. <laughs> uh, let's read that. Read some more. Soldiers, sailors, airmen. Marines and guardians will be defending our nation for generations to come. Man, you cannot make this stuff up. They, these people are literally speaking prophecy out of their mouth there and do go. not know it. Yeah. Amazing. Psalm 49 and 11. The Marine, the Army, the Navy, and the guardians are going to protect Earth for generations to come? Man, if this ain't the Bible in the book, read that. Psalm 49 and 11, man. That's a perfect scripture right there. Read that, man. Psalm chapter 49 and verse 11. Bring it out. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. Read. And their dwelling places to all generations. Hey, if, you, hey. if you don't know the Bible ain't a true book, I don't know what you think it is. It's a cold hey, cap. precept. Cap. You they crazy. Making, they making it too easy. Too easy. We revealing, <laughs> right, right. We revealing, revealing the easy. man of sin right, right here on Four Quarters That's News. Job, That's that pride that so, they yeah. got. So in their mind, in their pride, they think that whatever weapons that's probably not out yet, they think it could outbest God. They when a single angel killed 183,000 men in one night. One night. Yeah. Yeah. But you mean to tell me your latest? It was 185. 185. Don't, don't cheat the angels of God. <laughs> 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 it was 185,000. <laughs> wiped out right. before the sun came up. Damn. Yeah, but they, in their mind, their pride... A They're new. going to defend us for generations to come. They pride tell them that they could defeat an angel that can stand within yes, the can. sun. There you go. What the hell is this? A nuke going to work on somebody that can stand in the sun. <laughs> so you know what they're saying? Unbelievable. You that, crazy. That, that, that That's God, pride. That God, you're not the guardian of the galaxy. I am. Wow. I'm God. I'm God. <laughs> I protect. <laughs> right. hey, they said, I protect I, you. I protect Earth. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. This is my they domain. Say, no, 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 no. Listen, listen. They say, you created the Earth, but listen. We got this. Oh, right. 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 we don't need you, God. Hey, Thank Cap, you, right. Cap. You said the Earth. No, 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 no. They crazy. I protect galaxy. this whole galaxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guardians <laughs> of the galaxy. <laughs> they out. They uh, ever living mind. I was gonna say something else, but I know we got some kids watching. <laughs> hey, um, now go to the video because I want you to see the pride of Esau's face for yourself. Look at Mike Pence make the announcement to the army or the space force. And look at the pride in his face as he announces it. Go to the video. But also to make another announcement. As I mentioned, we just returned from the Oval Office, and so it is my honor, on behalf of the President of the United States, look at his to face. announce look at his face. that henceforth, the men and women of the United States Get Space Force it. will be known as Guardians. Pause it! Woo! Did you see that? Nah, hey, hey, put Guardians. the camera over here. So put much that camera pride. When the white man does this, Guardians. <laughs> right, right, right. I got it. When the white man does, sure. 
I'm sure. It's sealed. <laughs> this is guaranteed to work. <laughs> this is not going to work. Good day to you, my brother. Good day, sir. Thank you, my Hello. brother. That's, that's hey, they do that. They, do that. they give you the nod and the fake smile. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> this oh. is going to work. Guaranteed. Let Jump off the cliff. I guarantee you can fly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a script, man. <laughs> go ahead. Go to Joel 3. Joel 3, reverse 9, real quick. Go read down. <laughs> guardians. They out there, damn mind. It's the Lord that put it, that we spirit on him. He, he wants guardians. a good battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, wants yeah. a good fight. Good don't show. give me that. Don't come um, half a in. Don't right. come half stepping yeah, yeah, that's like what Egypt called. did. Don't do it. Right. I need you to gain up all that wisdom and knowledge. Go ahead, read that. Joel chapter 3 and verse 9. Uh -huh. Read it out. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Read. Prepare war. Prepare what? Woo! Prepare war. Oh, wow. Read on. Read on. Wake up the mighty men. I need you to wake up the mighty men. Yeah, yeah, even yeah, yeah. China, even China now. Is, uh -huh. Oh, okay. oh I'm don't, don't, don't go. Don't jump oh, again. Read, read, it up. read it up. Read it up. Read on. Read on. <laughs> Let read. all the men of war draw near. Wow. Let them come close. Let them come on. Let read. them name they Let them guardians. Come up. There you go. Come close. Let them go ahead. Travel to the moon. Get bold wow. enough to try to go to Mars. Do it. I need it. Read. Damn. Beat your plowshares into swords. Right. Re prepare for war. <laughs> Get your weapons to go out, I want out the into space. I want the lowly farmer to think there he got go. a chance. There Bring it out. Right. Put that pride in them too. <laughs> yeah. Farmers, but now you got swords. Read. And you're pruning hooks into spears. Come on. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the what? Let the weak say, <laughs> I am strong. Read, read. Assemble yourselves. Come on. And come, all ye heathens. No, you got to grind on that part right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, ye yeah, heathens. <laughs> you don't just want one. Hey. You want all of them. Hey, man, that lets you know Christ is a bad man. Hey, no. It's a, he That's right. He going to come from a heaven for looking for war with all mm. the angels with him, yeah. and he want everybody yeah. to yeah. come to the fight. There you go. Damn. There you go. And he said, everybody show up. Yeah. Get strong. Because a few of y'all ain't enough to handle me by yourself. There right. you go. I won't meet you as a man. <laughs> I want all of you all to come back so you can even think you got a chance. I'm going to whoop your ass like it ain't there no tomorrow. Because <laughs> it ain't going to be no tomorrow when Christ That's gets down right. with him. That's, That's right. right. Their tomorrow is shackles and chains. That's it. That's right. Hey, uh, all of them here, though, here in Babylon, ain't no tomorrow for them. They ass is done. Right. That's they right. They burnt oh, yes. rice. <laughs> hey, but you know what gets me to thinking? Like, they they understand the prophecy because they, like you was talking about earlier about the age of decadence. Hey, uh, uh, Yashira said, uh, Christ want all the smoke. <laughs> he want all hey, right. <laughs> Christ want all that smoke. That's right. Go ahead, officer. Yeah, like you were saying some earlier about uh, the age of decadence. So they understand the prophecy. This is this is not this is something that's strategic. Somebody said Christ said, "Meet me outside." Go ahead. <laughs> I got you at three o'clock. Yeah. I'm about to go get my daddy. We'll get your hey, daddy. Hey, there. Noon. I'm at noon day. Go, right. go ahead, Officer Man. Yeah, but this is something that's been strategic that they that that they put out because they know that their time of rulership is about to end. Yeah. The yeah. age of decadence is pretty much yeah. gone. Uh, right. Empire only lasts what? Two hours, what, 250 Nah, we don't know. Like yeah, that's know, up to the some, Lord. Some last long in there. It's right. up to the Lord. But right. we know when that day comes, when the when the Most High tells his son that their sins have officially mm -hmm. reached to heaven, Christ going to jump down off that throne like yeah. he did with the Egyptians mm -hmm. and right. slay everybody. Yeah. That's, that's right. right. All the smoke. That's right. Want all the smoke. Yeah. All, all that smoke. smoke. Christ wanted. Yeah. Hey, go to the next video, though. Go to the next video because this is what uh, Esau's doing to uh, counter... All of uh, what he knows coming, mm. this ass whooping. Hey. Uh, play, play that, play that. I think it's an article. Yeah, yeah, play that, play that. General, I want to turn to the China threat. You were really among the first. So this is to Moab. This no, no, it's an article. Go back. Hold on, hold on. I want to go to the article. I'm gonna get to that because Cap Severus mentioned it. But pull up the article about how Esau's creating new technology in his army. Mm. Let me know where y'all got it. Uh, give me that in Sirach chapter 39. Look at hold on, hold on, hold on. Go to Sirach 39 and verse 28. I want to read that a little bit more about those angels that they're going to be fighting. as They call themselves guardians of the space, right? Read that, Sirach uh, 39. Let's read 28 on down. 
Sirach chapter 39 and verse 28. Uh -huh. Bring it out. There, are, there be spirits that are created for vengeance. Those spirits are angels, and it says they are, God created the angels for vengeance. Now you understand when Christ comes from heaven looking for war, and he got all the angels with him, is because they were created for war. Now, Bring it out. They right. created for vengeance. That's right. Read on. Which in their fury lay on sore strokes. And you know why they're mm. going to be furious when they come here? Because they've been in the heavens looking at this uh, prideful ass man yeah. Yeah. that had the nerve to create a space force to fight against Michael and all the rest of the angels. Mm -hmm. You got Christ and then you got Michael, the top war angel, and he got all the angels under him. And they look it up in heaven like, Look at this dude right here. Dude, Christ, great. please let me go down and just <laughs> let me right, flex look, on him right, just one right. time. <laughs> no, Michael. Look, 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 look. Not until the most high says so. Look the father's this. will be done. Come and look oh, at this. I'm going to get their look ass when I go down, Christ. As soon as the Lord says it's finished, I'm coming from Mike Pierce's ass right. first because he's the one that did. The <laughs> <laughs> hey. I'm coming for his ass. Hey, Cap, you got to think about it. The <laughs> Lord says that he's a man of war. So he knows all tactics that's to come dealing with any type of war. But Esau says, no, nigga. I know more than you. I'm the God of war. That's yeah, what yeah, he's yeah, saying. Yeah, that's what he's saying. Hey, finish that out. Finish that out. Uh, jump down to verse 29. Verse 29. Fire and hail and famine and death. All these were created for vengeance. Read on. Ooh. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents, and the sword. They're going to be doing what? Punishing the wicked. Read that part again. Woo. Punishing the wicked. The angels to are created to punish the wicked to what? Read that part again. To destruction. To destruction. So Woo. much destruction that God said it ain't going to be a twig left mm. on this side of the earth. Right. You know what that means? A blade of grass ain't going to be left. No. The elements going to melt. That means right. the angels Woo. ain't going to stop until the damn grass on the Oval Office is no more. It ain't right. nothing but dust. Yeah. Like I say in Revelations, he had to hold back the winds. Yeah. Hold back. Don't, don't do it yet. Not Just yet. Think, not yet. That's that's Michael them looking mm -hmm. down. Look at this prideful ass dude. Yeah, he right. think he can fight and get you, Christ. Like, Daddy, he gonna talk down back. on you like that. Don't hold me back. Don't hey, hold hey, me that's back. That's probably how it is <laughs> in, in, in the know. heavens. Like you gonna you, Man, you, you gonna, you gonna, you gonna take this? You gonna <laughs> let him talk to you like that? <laughs> right, right. Hey, let me <laughs> handle back. your light <laughs> weight. You know how yeah, people yeah, be yeah. like, let me yeah, handle your light weight. Most times will be done. That's what Israel do. That Israel do that in the hood all day. They know exactly what that means. Yeah, yeah. Don't hold me back. Don't hold me back. Don't hold me back. Don't hold me back. Let me get verse thirty one. Read verse thirty one though. Verse thirty one. They shall rejoice in his commandment. They are going to be happy to destroy the space force of America. That's right. They will rejoice in his commandment. Right. They're going to be happy because they've been waiting for so long to do what they are created for, mm -hmm. for vengeance. Go ahead. Read on in that. And they shall be ready upon earth. Mm. That's why you see them. Mm. That is why you see them. Captain Ferris, you see them. Mm -hmm. That's why you see them over there in Russia. You see them in Belgium. You see them in America. You see them in Africa. You see them in, in uh, South America, Jerusalem. Central America. You see them in Jerusalem. Right. They ain't going to come from uh, um, um, the moon where the right. base is. Right. They're going to be right here. They're going to meet you to your face. Mm. 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 They're going to be ready on earth. All that stuff you're going to be talking some about. Some Edomite going to be talking cold, hard smack against Christ. And that tag going to come. Go boom. Hey, what, what was it you said yeah. about me? <laughs> None. Say that again. Say it again. Say it again. Keep all Say it again. <laughs> Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Keep all that energy. Keep all that energy. He ain't even going to have to say it again because he's going to smack his spirit out his body. Right. Damn. I'm just Damn. thinking about it. Gonna, uh, uh, what was that on... Uh, um, what was that? Uh, Doctor Strange? Oh, when yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Uh, the Supreme Sorcerer right. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, she it, pushed it, the spirit out of him. Knocked the spirit out of his body. Damn. That's the same thing the angel's going to do. Damn. Hey, finish it out, though. Finish it out. When need is, and when their time has come, they shall not transgress his word. That's Damn. why, the, that's why the, the, the scripts say that he, the Lord is holding back. He's holding back the angels until the Most High God says, it is finished. It's time to bring my children home. Go That's get them, uh, Christ. That's right. Hey, now go to the article, though, real quick. Go to the article real quick, because this is what they're doing to help uh, to 
to, to make them think they got a fighting chance against the angels. Pull it up. We've got an exclusive look at one of the military's latest investments. It's a futuristic combat goggles that give soldiers a brand new way to see the battlefield. Not only can soldiers see in the dark, but they can see now through smoke and even peek around corners. Look at that. Here's Martha Raddatz. Take a look. Wow. It sounds like something out Modern of science war. fiction. Take it. But the futuristic goggles these soldiers are wearing could transform the battlefield. A heads-up display, or HUD for short, allows soldiers to see terrain maps and an overhead compass in real time, helping to clear the fog of war. You have like a little arrow pointing, like, hey, go this way. And if it is dark and smoky, no problem. The goggles can see right through it and literally... Pause it, pause it, pause it. Hey, those goggles... Goggles might be able to see Damn. through smoke, but they ain't gonna be see uh, be able to see an angel of God. Yeah. That's right. Can't, can't see that. Can't, can't see, see that. that. Cause they all around us right now. They can't right. see no angels of God. Right. Not only that, you know what that get me to thinking? Like you're, they're looking at their physical senses. Remember in Luke twenty four where Christ just popped up on disciples like, hey, yeah, hello, yeah. how you doing? Yep. Out of Christ, nowhere. They gonna be looking. They gonna be looking at the spirit right there. If they can through their little vision goggles because the spirit want them to, he'll pop up right behind pop, them. Pop up yeah. right there, and then what, it's gonna be like, what are you stab. looking at? Right. <laughs> it's too late. Thrust through. Thrust right. through. <laughs> Slew a man. Gone. That quick. Hey, go back to the video, though. <laughs> it's a fighting goggle that's supposed to, you know, really upgrade situational awareness and the way that the men and women of the United States fight. A complex system that is simple to use. You can use a smartphone, you can use a system. It is called IVAS, an acronym for the typically clunky military name for the device, the Integrated Visual Augmentation System, based on Microsoft's hey, HoloLens hey, that uses up. holograms as teaching aids. IVAS is designed as a fighting goggle. The future is here. This is going to fundamentally change the way we do business in the United States military. ABC <laughs> News was given exclusive access as they the getting Army's ready top to fight leaders Christ. and Microsoft CEO saw so firsthand what IVAS can do. So how exactly can it help fight the enemy? With no need for paper maps, soldiers can use the goggles to plan their missions. I can see where my entire platoon is uh, projected on a, like a holographic map. It also means better communication. You can mark enemy positions and show that across the board. In training to clear out rooms, soldiers will see realistic holograms of enemy fighters. And as they did here, watch a video game like replay of their wow. training to look for any mistakes. Wow. It is a system overload almost, but whenever you get used to it, it becomes second nature. The goggles, a big improvement to the equipment they use now on the battlefield. Night vision no longer means Look. looking through what looks like a straw, Look. but a full 180 degree oh. view. Ooh. And with the turn of a knob, thermal technology Ooh. does something night vision goggles can't do. All of a sudden, smoke environments become clear as day. Adding a scope to rifles gives troops an edge in dangerous urban warfare. Say there's a, a wall right here. Look. You know, I can literally just peek my weapon around Ooh, the corner. Look at that. I'm looking to the right, to the left, straight up, straight down. I can, I have that picture in my, in my view. They can troops shoot around the corner. Damn. Right. To Microsoft Damn. engineers who are by their side. By having them out here and working with all going. of the development folks. Cut, cut it, cut it, moving. cut the video. And Nick Rose really think you can't right. you know, right. bring it out. Right. You out your bring damn mind. They can hide behind a wall and shoot you. Yeah, right. Right, right. Your, your AK-47 ain't working, y'all. Yeah. They gonna catch you coming before you even pull it out the trunk. Right, right. Before you come on. All they cap, all they gotta do is turn off all the power in the hood. That's it. <laughs> and, right. and put on those goggles. Put on those done. goggles. They coming. They ain't gonna see nothing. Damn. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. So that's what Esau mm. doing, man. He he's getting ready for war. Yeah. Christ said, "Hey, give him dev Satan. Yeah. Give them the wisdom to be able to look around corners because I want them to to think that they're ready even more. So mm. when the fall of this place comes, all my people gonna know I am God." That's right. Hey, but it ain't just uh, Babylon the Great in America. Go to the next article, the video, go to the next video to show what the other nations, because God said, call all, all the heathen right. to the battlefield, right. right? Go to that. Play that video. 
General, I want to turn to the China threat. You were really among the first people China. to come on this program and raise the red flag about China. You told us that they were building uh, a, a very strong military. We know oh, yes, that they've got the largest navy in the world. Well, the director of national intelligence, John Ratcliffe, mm. uh, joined me on Sunday Morning Futures this weekend to talk about uh, the intelligence that shows the Chinese Communist Party and what it's doing. Here's John Ratcliffe. It's called gene editing. It's altering DNA. And it's one of the things that our intelligence shows that China is doing. They've got a, the PRC, the People's Republic of China, has two million strong in Damn. its military. Damn. And it's trying to make them stronger through, uh, you know, gene editing. And that's just one of the ways that, uh, uh, you know, China is trying to um, essentially dominate the planet and set the rules in the world order. And, and why it's so important and people need to understand is, this is an authoritarian regime. It doesn't care about people's individual rights. We've seen what they've done to the Uyghurs. We've seen what they've done in Hong Kong. Um, it's about putting the state first, and um, that is the exact opposite of what has always made America great. I mean, they basically, stop, hold on. They just letting you know that there's nothing to their limits. Yeah. They can inject right. whoever they want yeah. with that. Uh, what was that's it? stuff we see in movies. Right. Man. Yeah. right. Gene Nobody. editing. Like, Marvel, go. like Captain America. Like that's, 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 that's why. That's, that's why. Captain America. That's why Super Negroes genius. be watching movies for entertainment. Mm -hmm. Esau is is giving you a glimpse of what's to come in yeah. the future. Right. Right. Now, and, but this time around, it's it's. Uh, Moab is the Chinese that are trying to create super soldiers there you go. to fight against Christ. Right. They think they they try to build up their army to rule the world. God is help getting them to build up their army so they can fight against His Son. Yeah. So mm -hmm. He could destroy them too. Go back to the video. I think He says something in that. What's your reaction? We've talked about what they're doing in their use of artificial intelligence in the military. But to actually do this gene editing and have this program to test members of the PLO, two million communists, to try to make them better and more equipped to handle extreme weather, more equipped to handle chemical attacks, mm. pretty extraordinary with the lengths that they're going, General. Yes, it, it's not surprising. You know, as, as Director Radcliffe said, this is an authoritarian, it's a repressive regime that, uh, as a premium, is is constantly in control of its people. America is an oppressive and the fact regime. That they're trying to loud, use man. gene editing tools uh, to, to change the nature of human beings um, is not surprising because this is who they really are. And we had that similar experience, did we not? Uh, with Nazism and that authoritarian regime trying Look to at all conduct those human missiles they got, to do man. the very same yeah. thing. It's really to advance the Chinese Communist Party and the state is what this is, this is all about. And the fact that they would take human beings and put them through this is quite something else. And the, and the ethical questions that surround that are certainly serious. It's one thing to use yeah. techniques like that to control disease. It's another thing when you're altering human beings. That, that, is, that is clearly something that the United States uh, and like-minded countries, democracies, would never take on. Yeah, cut right. it, cut it, mm. cut it right there. Damn. The nations are preparing for yeah, war, yeah, like the yep. Bible says. Yeah. Negroes is caught up in them the start of the NBA yeah. season. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> like it First said in Joel, play. it said, make the weak strong. God's yeah. going to put that spirit on them. Yeah. We want you to go ahead and do it. Create your Captain America's. We want that. Yeah, yeah. Right. So when, when the angels step on the scene, there's no excuse. You can't say you didn't bring your best. You like the Damn, movie, that's uh, right. Troy, Troy, bring your best. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Is there Diddy Ball? Is there, there not Diddy Ball? <laughs> hey, give me that script in Romans chapter 9 real quick. Yeah, that's the one. Romans bring chapter 9 out. to show you why all of this is happening. Make them the weak strong, right? That, so they can be full of pride. There you go. Uh, read that in um, Romans 9 and 17. Romans chapter 9 and verse 17. Bring it out. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up. Mm. So God is comparing Pharaoh's power, Egyptian power, where they was the top nation on the earth, the best military. Nobody could defeat them. He's comparing this white man to Pharaoh of ancient times. How he was on top is the same way that America is on top right now. Read on that I might show my power. Hmm. 
in thee uh -huh. and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Now you see why the militaries are creating God, vision, God, goggles that can look around corners. Right. Google, goggles, goggles, Google goggles that can <laughs> see through smoke. Goggles that can, that night vision don't mean nothing to them no more. Right. You see the uh, the uh, Asians are, are creating super soldiers super by super. gene editing. Mm. That's stuff you've seen in movies yeah. that you didn't think, nah, well, I, I, I know it's some crazy stuff. Right. I know people don't fly and all that. Yeah. But they creating gene Damn. editing. Right. Remember that movie uh, with Will Smith, uh, Gemini? They kept cloning Yeah, they did, yeah. Good yeah. point. Yeah. Great assassins. They said, nah, we, he, he's going to retire soon, so we need that. Continue that that, that assassin uh, bloodline to continue. Right. Yeah. Cap, so they took his blood and cloned him. Cap, just think about the blasphemy that they're saying with within that statement, right? Because they saying, okay, I made war, war and I conquered your people. Now you're next. Mm -hmm. That's a blasphemy. That, that, that that's a blasphemous thing for you to say. Meaning, I already got these Negroes on lock. Their mind is already destroyed. I'm more focused on you. So therefore, I'm gonna build my little space right. force. Right. Yep. Hey, hey. And mm. before we head out, I want to show you the power of God. Go to Amos. Here's the power that God is gonna show in Esau. I think it's like Amos chapter nine or something. Uh, let's see, Amos. Chapter 9 and verse 8. Let's show you the power of God right here. Let's read that. Amos chapter 9 and verse 8. Bring it out. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom. God is watching the sins of America. This is the sinful kingdom. Yes. There's no other place on earth that's more sinful than here. Than here. That's why all people in all nations want to come here so they can live Free yeah, right. in whatever sin that they want to. So they can be all they can be. So they can right. be all they can be. Exactly right. This is the sinful kingdom. Read on. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. That's the power of God. Nobody else can destroy the sinful kingdom but God. And he said that I'm going to destroy it off the face of the earth. It ain't going to be here no more. Yeah, it's, gonna, it's not going to be a blade of grass yeah, in this yeah. mamma jamma. Yeah. Edom, right. Edom got so much pride that he think he can go against an eternal God. Right. He's like, Negro, I can't die. You yeah. think you can kill me? <laughs> right. Yeah. It's, 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 it's the the hey, battle's hey, already hey, won. Hey, and the pride of Esau is shown through the movies. That's there why in those, in those movies, they all the heroes are white, yeah, you go. and they yeah. always overcome their enemies That's in right. the end. Right. That's right. the pride of Esau. We can't lose. We're the Avengers. Right. If we unify <laughs> together, we can overcome it. Our humanity and spirit. Yeah. Uh, right. Let's just hold hand and sing Kumbaya. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be our ultimate blast. Yeah. yeah. Right. Read that one more time to out. show the power of God. Read that. Verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord God are upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of of the earth. That's the power of God. Read on. Saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, uh -huh. saith the Lord. All praises to the oh, most high that we right. got a chance right. at repentance. <laughs> All praises. That's right. That's if we repent and here. keep the commandments and the faith in Christ, we are not going to get caught up in the judgment of Esau when Christ come back to whoop his ass. That's, That's right. right. We gonna be on that chariot. We gonna be all with a window right seat. Yeah. Yeah. So That's right. If we endure to the end and make sure our name is written in that book of life by doing what pleases God. That's right. That's right. Try to make God happy and not man. Mm. Yeah. Esau can get all that smoke. Though. Yeah. Let Esau <laughs> get all that smoke, man. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't want none of that smoke. No. Not it's gonna burn forever. Oh, <laughs> that smoke gonna what you burn. say? What you that say? That smoke gonna burn forever. That smoke Ooh. gonna burn <laughs> for oh. forever. Ever. 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 <laughs> forever, ever, 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 ever. We used to scream "Black Power" while Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 
144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.